Before we go on to holding the harmonica and learning how to play a single note, I want to talk about a couple things, about some tools that will be helpful, and also breathing. So at first, uh, harmonica players really feel like they're running out of breath, and the biggest part of that is their nose is open. So I want to do some exercises to get used to the nose and okay. what it's doing. Okay. So let's take a, a deep breath, okay. and what I want you to do is just blow out on your hand. Okay. It's like you're blowing out a candle. Go ahead okay. and do that. When you do that, you notice that your nose is closed. Do that again. Yeah. Okay, good. Let's play on the harmonica. We're going to do, we're going to take a deep breath and you're going to blow on the harmonica. Okay, and by yep. the way, I have lip gloss on. I couldn't stand it. Everybody, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't like dry lips and I'll just clean my harmonica more. Yeah. So for those that. of you that like lip gloss and chapstick, it's... It's fine. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. what, what I'd like you to do now is uh, blow a chord. And make sure that your nose is closed. Good. Do you feel that the nose is closed? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, good. And if you're having difficulty at home closing your nose, you know when you have a, a cold, and you, your, your soft palate in the back is raised up right. to stop phlegm from going down your throat. Yep. Go ahead and try that. Can you talk like that for us? No problem. I could talk like this all day. <laughs> so I'd like you guys to experiment with that because there'll be times where you're not aware of it, but you're you're going to email me and when with one of your submissions and say, man, I can't get past this fourth chorus because I keep running out of breath. And I'll say, is your nose closed? Now, the having your nose closed on the blow is relatively easy, but the draw is a little bit more challenging. So let's do that blow again. Wait, you want your nose closed or not? We want our nose closed. Oh, good. That's because easier. we want all the all the okay. air to go through the harmonica. Okay, okay. And eventually, most of our time, we're going to be playing one hole. Okay. So the air is going to be directed one hole, and you could, after a while, play one hole for two minutes. Ooh. It's like you're well, underwater. You're plugging your nose. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, you'll comfortably be able to play a single note for 30 seconds. If you try a minute and someday two minutes, just okay. playing one note. Okay. Um, we want that same skill on the draw as well. Let's do the blow one more time and then make sure your nose is closed. Okay. Really purse your lips. Okay. But now when you're out of breath, inhale. Making sure the nose is closed. Got it. Now if I open my nose, within a second, just a little bit more than that. Yeah, it's... All the air yeah, comes in. Yeah. Big nostrils, right? Compared yeah. to a little hole yeah. in the harmonica. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's, a, it's a thing. Yeah. So on the harmonica, now let's ex exhale before we start, and then breathe through the harmonica, making sure the nose is closed. Good. As we learn to play single holes, we'll learn today, and we'll focus a lot more on it our next lesson, and then around the fourth or fifth lesson, we'll talk about the uh, nasty two draw. The nasty? two draw, yeah, unfortunately, it's one of the most important notes in the harmonica. Uh oh, okay. But because the way the mouth is, is made and where our tongue rests in our mouth, what'll happen is that note's gonna try to bend. Okay. And it's gonna create some weird sounds and squeals, and you're gonna get upset at that two draw. And one of the ways that your body, your subconscious mind, is going to figure out how to make that two draw sound good is the nose is going to open. Oh. Mm. And players are unaware of this. And what happens is they start to play the more advanced songs and they're running under breath oh. because their subconscious mind yeah. figured out, hey, if I open my nose, that note's going to sound sure. good. And they learn to open their nose for holes two and one and they run out of air very quickly. Okay. We're just going to mention it now. I want you guys to experience it at home so that when that does come, mm -hmm. and it will for most, that we at least we, we have that in our mind, oh, okay, I'm running out of breath. I wonder if my nose is open. Mm -hmm. And if you need to, you can lick your finger, put it underneath there so you can feel the warm or cold air going on your finger if you're not sure if your nose is open or closed. Okay, you no can one also can do pinch. That. That's really gross. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> he didn't advise you to do that. That's so disgusting. Okay. <laughs> All right, you ready to, um, oh, I want to talk about software really quick. Yes. There are two software. tools, uh, two software tools that are very, very helpful. And okay. I have lessons on the website for this under equipment. The first one is um, Amazing Slowdowner. And what it simply does is it allows you to set start, start and stop points for loops. Okay. So as we start studying our first study song, mm -hmm. and you're learning that first lick, yes. you don't want to have to like keep on like yeah, every bringing second. your pointer yeah. there and pointer. Okay. So you listen to the song, one, two, three, four. Let's say you're trying to get the second lick, this one. What you'll do is you'll start your loop. Start. Um. Stop. 
stop. So what you'll hear is you hear just a little bit of the previous note and enough rhythm to kind of get your body in time. Okay. And to Got start, it. in this case, happens okay. to be a five blow on the harmonica. And it'll just go over and over and over until you get it. Mm -hmm. When you're saying five blow, does that mean you're covering five holes or you're blow? What are you doing? When you say five blow? When I say five blow, I'm playing the fifth hole exhale. Oh. And how we achieve that, we'll, we'll actually learn in just a couple moments, is your lips will be over four holes, blocking the three holes to the left. Oh, shoot. You're blocking? Okay. Yeah. So okay. I'm playing the five blow. Yeah. I see. And we'll talk about how to play that in a moment. So that lick right there, by looping it, great. I can listen to it, listen to it again. I can get the rhythm in my head. I might even start to hum it. I highly recommend that, highly recommend that. Put an exclamation point on that one. Okay. And then once you feel like you got the rhythm and the sound in your head, uh, you would stop it. And then you'll look at the music notation. It says five blow, five draw, six blow. And you'll work on it until it sounds kind of close to the rhythm, but don't okay. work on it so much that you're creating your own rhythm. Possibly. Sure, yeah. Then you hit the space bar and it starts to loop again. Listen to it maybe twice so you can kind of hear where the loop starts. Then you try to play it and it's going to sound bad at first. Okay. You're going to play it again. It'll sound bad. You're going to play it again. It'll, say, it'll sound maybe a little better. Then stop. Listen to it. Okay, I need to hold that note longer. You'll play it. You'll play it. Stop again. Listen. Oh, okay. I need to start that note a little sooner. Sure. If we're always playing on top of it, you're going to have mistakes. Okay. It's like, okay. how can you listen if you're busy of course, talking? Yeah. So, very important thing. Play twice, maybe three times, listen once. Okay. Play twice, maybe three times, listen once. Very important. Okay. Our mind is much more capable at doing error correction when we're not playing. True. Yeah, real important thing. Uh, and then you can slow it down. That's also as important as a loop. So I can go click, click, click. It'll retain the same pitch, which is amazing. Wow. When, when this software came out, I was, I was very happy. I'm sure. Yeah, and the students, of course. So you can slow it down. Now it's... Jeez. It's slow as you need it to be, right? Especially if it's a real fast lick and you need to slow that sucker down to be able to hear it and figure it out, etc. Really helpful. They can speed it up to normal speed until you're, you're, you're able to play it. So that loop function and to be able to slow music down, it's the most valuable tool you'll ever use. Okay. So we're going to make sure to get that on your computer at home. Yes. Or on your iPhone, the editor software for oh, that on the iPhone. Nice. Yep. All right. And uh, the other one is called the, uh, so that's the amazing slow down. The other one's called Harp Ninja. What Harp Ninja does is it'll actually show you what hole you're playing. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Now, you have a good ear. I think you won't need that, oh, personally. Oh, okay, okay. Um, but for those who are brand new to music, I think you're gonna, you're gonna, it's going to be helpful. Okay. Um, but still, it's kind of helpful to, yeah. what hole am I on? Yeah. Instead of like... Sure. You know, like, exactly, because I'll be like this a million times before I know yeah. what I'm at. Okay. So Harp Ninja will show you what hole you're playing on for whatever key of harmonica. Okay. And more importantly, as we learn how to bend, it'll actually show you your pitch. Actually... Are you creating the bend you think you're creating? Uh, so that visual immediate feedback is really quite important. Yeah. So amazing slow down or now, Harp Ninja, if you think it would be a neat idea to be able it's to cool. see what hole you're playing, but more, more important for when we go into bending.